Hi, I'm Rich Harris and welcome back to my barbecue series for Video Jug. In this episode, I'm showing you a recipe for all you fish lovers out there. It's my barbecued stuffed sea breeze. This is a really simple dish and it's all about just packing as much flavour as possible into the fish. We'll start off with some green chilli. To top and tail the chilli and de-seed it. And these green chillies can be quite hot, so I'm going to take out all of the seeds and the membrane as well just to kind of keep that heat down a little bit. So just run your knife along, take out that membrane, right, then just finely chop chilli. I'm going to be pounding everything up in a pestle and mortar, but by finely chopping the chilli you just give yourself a bit of a head start and take out some of the elbow grease from later on. So just scoop up your chilli, chuck it into a pestle and mortar. So to that we're going to add a good couple of pinches of salt and that's going to act as an abrasive and help grind everything down to a paste. And these, these fennel seeds add a really great aniseed flavour and go brilliantly with fish. But for a full list of ingredients just check out the description box. Then some lemon zest. Finally grate the lemon zest in. And it's that zest that's going to add a great citrusy flavour to the fish. We all know that lemon and fish goes really well together anyway. Then just get in there, give it a good bash up. So that's smelling great. There's loads of aniseed coming out of that fennel, good kick from the chilli, fragrant lemon and the salt's going to bring it all together. So just work it together. So when you've got a rough paste, just grab some parsley and tear it up. A little bit more salt, it acts as a good abrasive, and then just keep pounding it. That's what you're looking for, just a wet, rough green paste. It smells great, really fresh. So next up, the styles of the show. These are sea bream, got really great white flesh, lovely skin that will crisp up beautifully. If you can't get hold of these, then something like sea bass will work as well. Just take a sharp knife and make a few incisions just down to the bone all the way along and these slashes what they're going to do is make the fish cook more quickly but also we're going to be able to get all that paste in there and get loads of flavour into the fish so same with this guy a few slash marks down and these fish have been scaled and gutted but you can get your fishmonger to do that for you to save all the messy work right get your hands dirty so Take our paste, take a little bit of the paste, put it, rub it inside the cavity and then some more just into the slits in the fish, really push it into those slits, give it a good covering all over. So for me fish works really well on the barbecue, it reminds me of summer holidays abroad in Greece and Spain and Italy, it's just got such great flavour, you get crispy skin which goes smoky and crackly and you have that lovely steamed flesh on the inside. Same with this guy, a little bit in the cavity and then push into all of those slits all the way down. It's quite messy and some of it will fall off into the barbecue but as long as you've got it pushed into there you're going to get loads of flavour into that fish. So I've got one of these fancy fish griller thingies and they're great because they're going to hold the fish together and just stop everything from falling out. So put your fish in and then take some fresh rosemary. It's a fresh rosemary from my garden and rosemary works really, really well with fish. It's not just for roast lamb, so give it a try. Stuff it into the cavity. And then take our lemon from earlier. Just cut it into some slices. Just stuff a few slices inside the fish as well. And what the lemon's going to do is just cook and steam the fish from the inside. So you're going to get a lovely sort of perfume citrus aroma inside the fish. Now, take the top grill, put it on top of the fish and just press down. It's going to hold them in there nice and firm. So I go straight over the hot grills and we're going to grill that for about four or five minutes on each side just until it's lovely and crisp. So they look like they're about ready to turn, so we're just going to give them a quick drizzle of olive oil and flip them over. Lovely, look, 
golden, crispy and bubbly, beautiful. Gonna make a quick dressing to go with it. So we've got some creme fraiche, nice and sharp, and creamy, and some basil. Just tear off the leaves, chuck them in with a pinch of salt, and then just blitz them up. So just blitz it up until it goes smooth and green and absolutely delicious. It's gonna go really, really well with the fish. So just blitz it until smooth. And that's it. And just spoon that into a serving dish. If we just give that a quick prod, you know that we're there. Skin's crispy. The flesh is just starting to pull away from the bones. Looks great. We just need to let it cool for a second before we serve it. So if you want to see more barbecue recipes like this, click the subscribe button. So there you go. My barbecue stuffed sea bream with basil creme fraiche. I hope you've enjoyed the recipe and I look forward to seeing you back in the garden again soon for another in my barbecue series.